liberals accusing President Trump of lying when he made that wiretap claim in a tweet. He said, just found out that Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower. That's not an if. President Trump made a wild claim on Twitter. If this happened, Martha, if, this if, would if, if. The president's charge is untrue, and he knows it's not true. The president of the United States lied to the American public. I hope we can put an end to this wild goose chase. All right, but a potential smoking gun is set to be unveiled today, which could prove that the Obama administration did spy on President Trump's team. Here to weigh in on this, Angela Morbito from Red Alert Politics and also Democratic strategist Richard Fowler. Guys, thanks so much for getting up early today. Good to be here. Yeah, Morning. Thank, thank you so you. much. And Richard, we're actually going to start with you. So, you know, the NSA is expected to come out with some documents today that really could prove something here. At least that's what's expected. Now, let's assume for a second that that does happen. I want to ask you, do you think Democrats and the media, will they accept that or will they try to play that off? Well, they'll have to accept it, but the question then becomes is why was the Trump campaign or the Trump transition team wiretapped? The evidence that they seem to have is what they call an incidental communication, meaning that somebody on the Trump transi transition team was talking to a Russian foreign agent who was somehow either sanctioned or somebody who the United States government believes was engaging in nefarious activity against the U.S. So the question now is, why were people on the Trump transition team talking to somebody that was sanctioned by the United States government? And that question is troubling. Yeah, but, but, but you, you, you admit that they would accept that this is, a, is proof that the Obama administration was, in fact, spying on Trump's transition well, team? No, 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 because they weren't spying on Trump's transition team. They were spying on individuals that were talking to Trump transition team. Okay. Right? Jim Comey made it very clear in his testimony this week that there wasn't an actual wiretap warrant against the Trump team. But if somebody on Trump's team was talking to a member of the Russian government or a member of a, a Russian oligarch that was in somehow engaged in nefarious activity against the United States, that's still problematic. Okay. All right. Let's, let's get to that tweet. Let's get to where this all started. Let's go back to that tweet from March 4th. Uh, this is the president, and this is when it all began. Terrible. Just found out that Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. Nothing found. This is McCarthyism. Now, Angela, if this comes, uh, you know, if this comes out today and we see what, uh, what the Republicans are expecting to see from the NSA, will this be a vindication for President Trump as he said it was in the soundbite from a couple of days ago? Absolutely. You know, this would show that the president was, was telling the truth, that he had this information before even uh, Representative Nunez had it. What we're looking at here is that the Obama administration has a pretty terrible track record on data and information. When you look at what happened to the IRS hard drives, when you look at the whole debacle with then-Secretary Clinton's emails, you see that the Obama administration has a real problem with, with surveillance. And this could be an issue that continues, as we're seeing now, even after he's left office. Okay, so, and last night, I, I understand that the, uh, the chairman, Chairman Nunez of the, um, I'm sorry, House Intel Committee, uh, the guy that got into controversy when he went to President Trump first, obviously, he was on Hannity last night. He got a sound bite there. Let's, let's play that. I felt like I had a duty and obligation to tell him because, as you know, he's been taking a lot of heat in the news media. Uh, and I think to some degree uh, there are some things that he should look at to see whether in fact uh, he thinks the collection was proper or not. I think it appears to me that it was all legal. Uh, the question is, is should it have been done in the first place? Okay, so you know he's 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 getting a lot uh, a lot of criticism from Democrats for going to the president first. He's saying that it might be legal, which which could give this a way out for Democrats. Richard, do you think that this was an ethical thing? I think one um, to the, my colleague's point, right? I, I think this idea that the, the that the White House has a problem with surveillance, I think that's a, that's a stretch, right? But beyond that, to particular to Representative Nunez, it wasn't that he went to the White House. The fact that he didn't brief, um, you know, Adam Schiff, who was the Democratic member of the the, 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 the Intelligence Committee, that's what's problematic. Usually, yeah. the rule of thumb in Congress is if you have new information, right, and you usually brief the ranking member or the other party, no matter what party's in power, of what that information is before you run to the the White House and give the information to the president, knowing that our president has sticky Twitter fingers. So what's problematic here is that he didn't brief Democrats, he didn't brief his fellow colleagues, including Republicans, on the Intelligence Committee, which is why people, why yeah. members of the Intelligence Committee are so upset at Representative yeah. Nunez. And, and, and Angela, we'll go to you for the final thought. I mean, if we if we take Richard at his word here and and and, and we, we think about this, you know, it's 
it, it seems that no matter what is proven today, the Democrats will say that it, w it was for a legitimate reason. You don't think the president might get any kind of apology from the media, from Democrats, for what they really went on a rampage with that? Uh, well, I, I certainly doubt that there will be any kind of apology. But, you know, what we're seeing here is that even if everything Richard is saying is completely true, even if every single bit of that surveillance was entirely incidental, that is still no justification for why specific individuals were unmasked, why their identities were revealed to the intelligence community as that surveillance was taking place. Well, that's the Democrats an alternative have fact. no explanation for that. Yeah. Well, that's this an is, alternative this is, fact. This I mean, the, very... the fact that we don't have an explanation for Guys, the fact that Donald yeah, Trump was talking. Donald Trump officials were talking to nefarious Russian actors. That, okay. uh, that evidence is there. All right, Richard, can thanks so much. We, we, can, we can do this all day so. long, guys, but we do have to go. We're out of time. It's a very political thing. We understand that. Thanks so much for joining us.